Hello everyone. My name is Anita Makhavia and I'm the founder CEO of Shubhkamnai Events and Experiences. As an event planner, we are into the business of creating mesmerizing experiences and celebrating your happiness. We are a team of young enthusiasts creating impactful and truly memorable experiences for our clients. And how do we do it? Yes, by combining style with elegance and innovations with traditions. With our skill set, we cater to three verticals of event management, that is social events, weddings, destination and themed celebrations. We cater to BTL activations and to corporate events like product launches. With our head office in Bangalore, we have our offices in Hyderabad, Pune and Chennai. We cater to pan-India requirements. And when it comes to destination weddings, we actually suggest the venues which are totally unknown and um, which have a story to tell. What brought me into event management is the sheer passion of spreading joy and uh, celebrating each and every occasion. And um, I noticed that there are lots of gaps between what a person wants to do in their event and in their celebration and what actually happens. And um, there is a lot of variety. We are always on our toes. There's so much to do. There's so much of tension. And I just love handling all this. And this is what brought me to event management. Today, we are here to learn about event planning. Why is it important? What are the elements that go into event planning? What is the process of event planning? And are there any departmental coordinations in planning the pro in planning process? So it could be interdepartmental or intra-department. Okay. Um, before we start off, I just hope all of you are having your pen and papers with you to make quick notes in case there is anything uh, that uh, you feel would add value to it. So uh, in case you don't have, quickly just go bring your pen and paper and start making notes and uh, I'm sure you're going to enjoy this session. I, and I assume we are ready for it. So I'm, I'm sure we know what event is all about, what are the different types of events and uh, what is event planning, what is event planning. Event planning is bringing together the entire process of a goal and an objective to the final execution. The process between your goal and objective to your final execution, the way you're going to do it is what is event planning all about. There's a very good saying that goes, plan before you can manage. So in simple words, planning always is your first step and it comes before managing an event. If you don't know what you're going to do, how you're going to do, why you're doing what you're doing, what is the process that you're going to use? How are you going to manage an event? So today, we are going to talk about event planning, its importance and the elements. So what according to you is event planning? Just, just because uh, what randomly comes in your mind, make note of it quickly. What is event planning according to you? Event planning is the process of managing a project which could be a meeting, a convention, a trade show, a ceremony, it could be a wedding, it could be a birthday party, it could be any celebration, it could be any kind of a, a group activity. So event planning is the creative and the pre-event process. Whether you're deciding on the colors, your themes, your caterers for a wedding or a birthday party or for a corporate event, Everything needs planning. So some of the areas that an event planners work with are, it could be first, what goes into an event planning? Um, of course, you sit with the client, you understand the goal and objective or the purpose of having that particular event. What is the reason behind that event? What is the goal and objective? What is the outcome that you're expecting by doing this event? Is it a one day or uh, ceremony, four hours, six hours, indoor, outdoor. Um, are you plan? What, who's going to be on the guest list? Uh, what are the entertainment elements that you require? So first, gathering of all this information, choosing an event space. 
choosing the themes and colors, creating the right menus, choosing the right caterers, creating your table layouts, your designs, your considering the entire layout and designing the space accordingly such that it creates the right ambience. There is no wastage of space. It, um, uh, it is comfortable to your guests and, for the and suits the client's requirements and budgets. If there is an engagement activity or an entertainment activity involved, then you need to choose the right kind of music, the bands or any other kind of hired entertainment services. So you must have seen dancers coming, you must have seen stand-up comedians coming, you have an MC to host that particular event. Creating and handling the pre-contracts, money handling, proposals to vendors, the commercials involved, uh, maybe your marketing collaterals that are involved. So all these elements put together in the right place and in the right order is what leads to a proper event planning. Before we uh, go to the stages of an event planning, I would like to just uh, discuss a little more on um, things that could be a part of event planning. So as I mentioned that uh, event planning is a pre-event pre process, it involves all your event management techniques or your activities. It could be budgeting, it could be establishing of timelines, permits, uh, you know, your food coordinations with your logistics, with your vendors, with your transportations, developing a theme, coming about with, you know, um, if there are keynote speakers or celebrity guests, you need to plan them out. So now the event industry includes an event which is as small as a baby shower or a birthday party or a gifting of an experience to your clients. Right as small as that to big weddings or even Olympics. Even Olympics are big events. Okay, It could include even your charitable events as well. Now, the, this entire process of planning and coordinating uh, all these activities is actually in simple words called event planning. Okay, And uh, if I have to put it, it, uh, it is the event manager whose person, uh, whose job, is to ensure that uh, he's taking the uh, entire responsibility of um, the creative aspects, the technical aspects, the financial aspects, the logistical aspects of this particular event. Okay, And um, as we always say that all events are different. No two events look alike. Okay, The feel, the purpose, the objective, they're all different. So regardless of the... Um, shape, size or the type of event that is planned, the planning process has to be in place always. Okay, and that is when you can actually come up with an outstanding result. The better you understand every element and uh, the everything that goes into this planning process, the better you will be, uh, you know, uh, to organize and deliver superior events in general as well. Having said that, I would now like to move upon to the five stages of event planning. Again, this is just a summarization of what I have just said. So the five stages of event planning include your feasibility studies. Okay, what is your goal? What are the budgets? What are the target audiences? And then comes the design, that is the ideation and creation of an idea. Our third aspect or the third phase of uh, event planning could include your operations. Getting your right teams in place, doing the site inspections, uh, connecting with the right vendors, any, anything that is of an operational level comes in your third phase. Next is going and doing the on-site execution. Once, you've, once you know the goal and objective, once your designs, your creatives are ready, once your plans and layouts are ready, you have your vendors in place, your teams are ready, you know what has to be done, your D-Day has arrived and then you are actually on field doing the final execution. Here, you need to have your proper on-site team which will be responsible for the final execution. The final stage of this particular uh, process is your evaluation. I always stress on having a strong evaluation process because this is where you actually learn how to better yourself every time. 
So once the event is over, what went right into the event, what went wrong, what could have been better here, sitting with your team, doing a debriefing session, taking the feedback from people and trying to uh, you know, improvise on yourself for the next time is the best strategy of going forward and being a successful event planner. So I repeat, the five stages of event planning are feasibility, the designs, the operations, the final executions, and last but not the least, evaluation. Now comes, how do you plan? What are you going to do? So if I summarize this into the W's of event planning process, why do I tell the W's of event planning? Why? What are you doing? When are you to do? Where are you going to do? Who is your target audience? What is your budget? What is the final outcome that you are expecting and will be delivered? So these are the W's of event planning process. When I talk about why, it refers to why are we doing this event? What is the goal and objective that you are planning to achieve? I will take you through each process once. So this is talking about the event objectives. When it comes to event planning, the logical place to start off is why. Why are you doing this? Why is your company a part of this particular event? Uh, say, um, that is identifying the right goals and objectives and what is the expectation from doing this particular event. It is very important that you define your event goals and objectives which actually starts shaping your next part of the process. Who defines your event target audience? How well do you know your audience? Because it is your audience which can make or break your event. If the guests are not going to be happy, be sure that you will not get a positive feedback and the chances of the client's um, um, client taking this uh, relationship forward may get a little strained. Hence, it is very important for you to identify who are your guests or who is your target audience. And these factors influence the choices that you make, right from themes, right from your ambience creation, what kind of food that you're going to have. All your elements actually become interdependent. So the whole idea is to design an event that not only meets your objectives, but also is very attractive to retain the interest of your guests. What would you do to make your event a one of a lifetime to remember? Remember the beginning of the uh, session, I told you all that we are into the business of creating mesmerizing experiences. So this is what we strongly believe in. See, once you can gift your client the best experience, be sure that this client is going to be retained for a long time because um, this is what a client wants from you. You need to have activities that engage your audience, entertainment, impressive decor. You should have very good speakers or celebrities should be in alignment with the goals and objectives of that particular event. This directly is going to impact the outcome of the event that is your final execution and your evaluation is dependent on this. Hence, always keep your audience in mind while choosing your activities. In case, um, uh, if you know that your audience is somebody who loves classical music, are you going to give them hip hop and rock and roll? No, you are going to plan all your entertainment activities based on the interest of the client and their guests. Similarly, when are you going to do this particular event? Choosing the right date, right time is very important because um, your timings are very, uh, the crucial point where um, you can give a premium experience to your clients. Okay, Because significant dates may affect the attendance also. For example, if you plan a uh, commercial activity on the Diwali day, okay, suppose you're planning a RW activity, uh, suppose you're planning a mall activation on the Diwali day, are you going to expect a lot of footfall? 
then it's diwali most of them are going to be at home and they are going to celebrate and rejoice with their families hence it is very important that you actually plan the activity in such a manner that you are considering the dates saving the dates accordingly creating the right pre hypes if it is required if it is a corporate activity or your marketing activities you hence need to consider the pre hypes and even otherwise you need to consider the right dates and times so that you can start your bookings and blockings in accordingly where are you going to do this event if you do not have the right venue you cannot create the right ambience hence the location is very important uh, in your event planning process your location the decor ambience these are what sets the tone for any particular event the right kind of aesthetics gives the right kind of a feeling and the right kind of a comfort level to your guests um you need to also consider what are the number of guests that you're expecting say if you're expecting a guest list of more than 200 but your banquet space is accommodating only 150 the rest have to stand or move around and expect a floating crowd do you think that's going to be very comfortable for the guests absolutely no hence you need to make sure that any venue that you are finalizing can comfortably accommodate all your guests in your desired layout and these activities that you are planning for the event also have an impact depending on the space that is required it is always money it's all about money honey and budgets always talks louder than anything else you may have the best venue on mind you may have the best resources on hand you may have the best goal and objectives but does your budget permit you to have that kind of a spend the most important factor that influences most of your event planning process is your money is your finance this ultimately defines your what when and where you need to incorporate all estimates uh, which could include your venue your audio visuals your productions your catering your entertainment the logistics the decor the seating additional staff if required your agency fees you need to actually uh, write each and every spend that is expected and that brings about a realistic cost review and then you can decide whether you know is this a reasonable spend does your client or do you have the budget for this kind of a spend based on that you actually take forward or the entire event planning process or you redo your planning process these were a few of the points which i just shared with you before we go to the next part of the session i would like you to do a small activity and um, you are to plan a corporate business lunch so your client is going to be volvo cars you have to have engagement activities for the guests as well how do you start what would be your plan of action please quickly write it down in case you want me to help you with it or you you are stuck somewhere or you would like to share this with me feel free to write at anitamakhari@gmail.com i will be sharing this at the end of the session as well hope you've made a note of this activity i would like to proceed forward next we are coming to the next session of the topic uh, the next topic of the session i'm sorry and next topic is what are the departmental roles when it comes to an event planning process first of all do we know what are the departments that are involved quickly just take a minute and think what or how many departments could be involved in this event planning process as i had previously said that an event uh, planner or anybody who is into the event industry is a multitasker you play multiple hats at one point of time and you know you are doing so many roles that finally at the end of the day every department is interlinked and is a part of your planning process if i have to broadly classify any uh, company or a corporate or an event planner a uh, uh, management company then i would broadly call classify it into administrations operations marketing and risk management so under administration we could talk about your 
uh, finances. So you have a financial management team, you have your human resources management team, you have your information management teams, your procurement or your vendor dealers. You also, if you are a, you know, a, a, too much into corporates and ITs, then probably system management, technology management and time management, they all come under your administration teams. Our next department could be operations. Under operations, it includes all your logistics, all your vendors. It includes how do you deal with your audience, your communications, your infrastructures, your logistics, your designs, productions, your site managements, any of your stakeholders managements, any technical production teams that is required. All this will come under the technical management teams or your operations. Okay. The third team which is very important is your sales and marketing teams. Under your marketing teams, they include your hospitality teams. What are your marketing plans? What are your marketing management goals? Your material management, your merchandising, your promotions, the PR required, sales management and does any event require sponsorships then you have your sponsorship management team as well. Finally, you have your risk management team. Any event comes with a set of risks, liabilities, licensings and permissions and approvals. Hence, the risk management teams or your department is very, very important. Under your risk management departments, we have your compliance management. We have an emergency management. In case something goes wrong, do you have your teams in place to take care of it? This emergency management um, team is very, very important for any event planner. Health and safety. The health and safety management team not only takes care of your um, client and your uh, guests, it is more important even for your team and for your staff members as well. Insurance management. Insurance about your of your staff. Insurance about the events also. I'm not too sure how many of you remember. Um, Every event needs its uh, comes with a risk, right? And it is always best to ensure your risks so that you know you litigate the lo loss uh, to the minimum possible. Then all your legal and ethics management, risk assessments, and finally your security management. So if I have to put it in simple words, your administration and operations are your knowledge domains. Whereas your marketing and your risk management are your functional units who are on the field, on the ground, executing the event for you. I hope you don't have any doubts so far. If at all you have any doubts, I'm always there to help you. You can always refer to more notes. As I said, that event planning, event management, event execution is all about a teamwork. It is the ability of all the departments working together for one common vision. And this ability to direct individual accomplishments towards your organizational goals and objectives is what is the event planning process all about. It is this fuel that allows common people to attain uncommon results. Hence, event planning is very, very important to ensure that your budgets and estimates are in place, your risks are as minimal as possible, you are prepared with your emergency plans in case it is required, you have the right designs, right ambience, right decor, making the client and the guest feel comfortable. If this entire process is done well, that is when the goal and objective of that particular event is attained. In today's session, we learned what is event planning all about, what does it mean, what is the process of event planning, what are the, what, what the importance of departmental coordination in event planning process. I would like to sum up by saying that plans are nothing. Planning is everything. It's a quote by Albert Einstein and we all very well resonate with it. Because if you have plans in mind, like, okay, um, I will go to, now I'm just sitting and making a plan. We, we, you know, we all friends should go on a, 
a trip to Ladakh. It's a plan, okay? But if I'm not doing anything about it, if I'm not having my planning process, if I'm not sitting and working with the people whom I want to go with, what are the costs, where will I stay, when do I want to go, what am I going to do there, until I have this entire planning process in place. I have not gone to Ladakh and come back, right? I need to plan and execute. And hence we say that plans are nothing without the planning process. I hope you liked today's session. Feel free to write to me at anitamakhavia at gmail.com. Thank you so very much and Shubh Kamnay for all the days to come.